Hello friends. So today we are making egg in a basket. So pretty much you cut out the middle of a piece of toast and then you put an egg in it. Turn it over. And then with that middle part, it's just right here. So I'm gonna flip that over as well. So now it's cooking on that side. I've got some berries that I just washed off. So I'm just gonna put them in here. And then with the berries, I'm gonna have, um, we should have nuts. The nuts might be in here. We're packing to go to Door County today, so that's why the nuts weren't in there. Check them down. I'm just gonna put some nuts in here. Okay, you guys might think this is weird, but this is kind of like cereal for me, so I get some almond milk. Let's see. I put some almond milk in it, and then I sprinkle some cinnamon in there so I'm just gonna sprinkle some almond milk not too much just like that much and then grab the cinnamon we have it in a little shaker yeah okay so there you go and then I eat that like that so pretty much for my meal I'm trying to go back to the food basics of what my food counselor taught me. If you guys know, I used to have an eating disorder, so I had a food counselor to help me better my relationship with food. Um, so she suggested that in every meal you have a protein, produce, starch, fat. So for this meal, I have my protein are the eggs, my produce, is the berries. My starch is the one piece of bread and protein, produce, starch, and fat. My fat are these um, walnuts. So that is my meal today. So um, for breakfast, super excited to eat this. Here we go. So to update you guys on what's happening this weekend, short little weekend trip. It's Labor Day or is it Memorial Day? I think it's Labor Day. Can't remember. Short little weekend trip to Door County, Wisconsin. And we're getting random last minute to do things on the wedding list done, like picking up my dress. I think it's done with alterations, which is exciting picking up a few wedding accessories like my veil and earrings, and then meeting with my wedding photographer. So those three things are happening this weekend, getting things done, because it's September and our wedding is early October, so we're almost there. I'm going up to Door County with my mom and my dad, so I'm excited to have like a little short weekend with them. My sister and my brother is not coming. Do you want to come say hi, Ma? Ooh, fun. Hey, everybody. So, that's on the agenda. Taylor's still at college, so she won't be coming back this weekend. And then my brother has work or school or something. I don't know. So, that's what's happening. Can't wait to take you guys along with. So we are currently going on a hike. We're exploring a new hike. Yes. Because so we want to get to do new things here because we always do the same things over and over again. Same things, but great things. Great things, but the same things. <laughs> so here we go.
Okay, we just went to <laughs> Uncle Tom's cabin. He's cute with that. Okay, Uncle Tom's cabin, Door County. No one probably really knows about it, but if you're ever coming to Door County, Wisconsin, you need to come here. It's almost to the top of the peninsula. Mm -hmm. Like, we are way, way up here. I already went through this whole bag. <laughs> Funny thing. I was cutting out chocolate because I went crazy on it a few times. So I was like, I'm cutting it out just for a little bit. Oh, and then I go in here and there's like a million just eat chocolate signs. I'll put them all right here. Oh. And I bought chocolate. This is what you got. Oh my phone. I got dark pretzel bark. Okay. And I got cashew brittle. But they have all different kinds of brittle. They have stuff chocolate on it. They have peanuts, cashews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Should I try it in front of them? What was the other one? Pecans. 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 Okay, I'm going to try it, you guys. It has some pretzel in there. Okay, let's just stick it in here. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to try a little piece of this cashew brittle. Mm. It's sweet. Oh my goodness. Amazing. They're really known for their pancake mixes here. So someone in my exercise group had told me about this place like 10 years mm -hmm. ago. And she said, you haven't heard of Uncle Tom's cabin and Uncle Tom's pancakes? I was like, no. Oh my goodness. Their pancake mix is amazing. Mm. It's delicious. This is a new one though. I think they have a website. She gave us oh. a card. Oh yeah, right here. UncleTomsCandy.com. We'll link it in the description. But this sounds amazing. It's called Sweet Cream Buttermilk with Vanilla Pancake Waffle Mix. <laughs> and I love making waffles. Mm. So I'm excited to try this. Now we're off to a little lake that we just want to explore. Lake. Europe Lake. So here we go. Good morning. <laughs> um, we have been painting up a storm. It's the next day in Door County. It's actually a Sunday. Um, I'll show you what we've been working on. So this is just my sketchbook where I like to have fun. This I was doing a remake of Sandy Hester's sketch. So this isn't my original. I was actually just copying hers. But then I went on to try to make my own original. So that's what I did there. Um, I just was painting the view right here. Um, I don't love how that turned out. This one was more abstract. I really like how this turned out before I did the pen. So I might try to go back and not do it with the pen. And then this one I did today of the view as well, which I'm actually really liking how that turned out a lot. So yeah, just practicing in my sketchbook, no pressure to be good. I'm just testing out different styles and methods of painting. So different subjects as well. So yeah, just a sketchbook to have fun. If you're really into art and you want to check out my art YouTube channel and my art Instagram, I'll have them linked in the description. My mom was also doing art. I'll show you hers. She does mixed media. So she did these mixed media pieces, which are beautiful. You can see all the texture on them. This one says gather. This one says live simply. And then this one says home sweet home C 
super cute. Good job. It was so fun. And we went to the hookah house for dinner last night. An amazing German restaurant. Yeah, we went to a German restaurant last night for dinner. As you can see, the leftover I'm still pretzel. Eating this leftover pretzel. Look, she loves it was, pretzels. No, it was. It it's took huge. Up this whole plate. Yeah, it was this huge. This was only like half of it, and this was the small one. And yeah. Have a really big one. So this morning we're gonna go on another hike. We're kind of just shopping around. This is a um, resale shop. Okay, that outdoor seating is cute. I just got Taylor's gift in this little shop. I would tell you what it is, but she could be watching this, so I'm not going to. But it's for her birthday, because she's in October birthday. So, that's exciting. Good morning, friends. It is our last day in Door County, and I'm wearing this dress, which is kind of nice. First day that I dressed up, huh? Um, anywho. Today, we are going to a coffee shop, and we are going to meet my photographer for our wedding, so that's exciting. We're getting wedding things checked off the list. I think today we have 33 days yet left until we get married, which is exciting. Um, yeah, we're going to meet her for the first time. She's a Door County photographer, and she's traveling all the way to the North Chicago suburbs to take the photos. So that's exciting. Um, I found her on Instagram, or my sister did, and we loved her style so much. So I'm really excited to have her be our photographer. I'll leave her linked in the description so you can see her style. It's super, just like in the moment style, which I really love. So that's exciting. Come with ma. I made it home. I slept that entire car ride up to the point that we picked up my dress. So we got my dress all picked up. I tried it on. All the alterations looked amazing. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so, and then I also met with my photographer today. So that was nice. I was able to meet with my photographer see if I can set you guys right here. So yeah, I was able to meet with my photographer today and get to know her. She's amazing. I couldn't have asked for anyone better to do our photos. So I'm so excited to work with her. If you're in the Wisconsin area, you gotta, and you're getting married or graduation or whatever it may be, you gotta check her out. Um, so yeah, I checked off some major things off my list this weekend, spending time with my mom and dad before getting married, getting my wedding dress after alterations, meeting my photographer and getting the whole schedule for our wedding day worked out, and then also last, what was the last? picking up my earrings and my veil. So getting things checked off the list, planning a wedding is a lot and you have to be organized, you have to be able to interact with different people and um, just really plan this giant event months in advance, if that's the type of wedding you want, of course. Um, that's the type of wedding I'm having and I'm beyond excited. So 
that was my weekend. Starting tomorrow, we have 32 days left to the wedding, I believe. So we're getting super close. We're a month out and I'm so pumped. I will continue updating you guys next time you see me. I'll probably be moving my stuff into our new apartment in Iowa. So how exciting. And I cannot wait to keep you guys tuned in. Also, I think someone wants to say hi. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi, my love? Yeah. These kitties are super like people people and they like love attention and love. So like when we're gone for a long time and then when we get back, they're like desperate for love. It's so cute. What do you think about the new stuff I got, huh? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not yet and join the family. Love you guys, see you soon, bye.